It was a tumultuous time for the United States when I took the oath of office on November 22, 1963, following the tragic assassination of John F. Kennedy. The weight of this responsibility was overwhelming, but I pledged to do my best to serve the American people. My early days in the White House were marked by deep sadness, but also an unwavering commitment to the ideals of social justice and equality. My goal was to continue the work of my predecessor, especially in the realm of civil rights. In 1964, I signed the Civil Rights Act, a crucial step in the fight against racial discrimination. However, this sparked fierce resistance in some parts of the country, testing the already divided nation. Despite the challenges, I continue to advocate for equality and inclusion. The following year, in 1965, we launched the Great Society, a set of ambitious reforms aimed at eradicating poverty and improving living conditions for all Americans. This included educational programs, accessible health care, and initiatives to boost employment. However, the Vietnam War quickly overshadowed these positive achievements. My administration became deeply entangled in this complex and controversial conflict. Making decisions related to the war was one of the toughest tasks of my presidency. Protests and criticism intensified, and opposition to the war became increasingly vehement. In 1968, I announced my decision not to seek a second term, mindful of the lingering divisions in the country. My presidency was a time of great accomplishments and monumental challenges. I hope history will remember my efforts to promote social justice and equality despite the obstacles faced.